Hello, my name is Brian, and I'm the Gallery and Collections Coordinator here at the Historical Society of Long Beach. We thought it was a good idea if we brought some of our artifacts from our Water Changes Everything exhibit from our home to yours. So, in this feature, we have a 1908 original panoramic image of Long Beach's waterfront at the turn of the century. Let's take a closer look. This 1908 panoramic image provides us an incredible look at Long Beach in its early years. We start here. Colonel Charles Drake moved to Long Beach from Arizona in 1901. Recognizing the city's potential, he bought much of the oceanfront, opened a bathhouse, and built a boardwalk along this beach. These attractions quickly drew in thousands and thousands of tourists from all over. Eventually theaters, marketplaces, and even apartment complexes popped up in the area to fulfill the demand for growth, like the Long Beach Theater and the Cynthia Apartments, seen here in this photograph. We also got the red car here in 1902. The Pacific Electric Red Cars helped bring visitors from all over the Los Angeles Basin to Long Beach. The line from Los Angeles to Long Beach first opened on July 4th, 1902, and brought 60,000 visitors on that one day. Just above, we can see the 1905 Municipal Auditorium. This is the third one built on the spot. The previous municipal gathering venues were considered more like open-air pavilions than actual enclosed auditoriums. Uh, the first was constructed in 1897 and the second one in 1902, but it unfortunately burned down in a fire. In 1905, voters approved a $30,000 bond to construct a new municipal auditorium to serve the citizens and visitors of Long Beach. It was later replaced in 1932 by a larger Art Deco version surrounded by a rainbow-shaped lagoon. Uh, though none of the historic municipal auditoriums stand, the Long Beach Performing Arts Center continues to serve Long Beach in a similar way on the original location of these historic buildings. To the right, we see the Pine Avenue Pier. Uh, we still have a version of it today, though not like this one, which is used for commercial and recreational purposes. In this photograph, we see it filled with visitors gathered on it to see the Great White Fleet as it passed Long Beach's harbor. This is not the last time we had a Navy presence in Long Beach. In fact, after this photograph was taken, a Navy presence was not an uncommon occurrence, especially during the interwar and World War II years. Sailors were common patrons of waterfront entertainment here in Long Beach. And finally, we see an early roller coaster of the amusement-filled Long Beach Pike. Several different roller coasters were built for Long Beach throughout the years, including the famous Cyclone Racer. Roller coasters became a symbol of Long Beach entertainment in the 20th century and were among the most popular attractions at the Pike. Today we see a tribute to them in the form of a pedestrian bridge shaped like a roller coaster on Shoreline Drive and Aquarium Way. This panoramic helps us better understand how Long Beach's early tourism grew and shaped the city of Long Beach we are familiar with today, reminding us that, well, water really does change everything. Thanks for watching! We hope you have enjoyed this closer look of our current exhibition, Water Changes Everything. We wish you the best of health and happiness during this time.